2022, you open up your garage, find a box of old Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, uh, what do they have back then, magic cards, and you find that you have some that might be worth some money. Do you have any of these? Uh, hopefully you do. Uh, for example, if you have Skull Guardian here from Tournament Pack 2, uh, this one's right here on the tier list. It's worth more than $100. In fact, it is worth, to be exact, uh, let's scroll this on over here, or down. Uh, yeah, you can buy a damaged copy for $70 right now. That means the copy is messed up. Uh, if you want to go lightly played or mint, you're going to be uh, paying closer to $200. So some very, very valuable cards in this set. This is Tournament Pack 2, which was released as, uh, well, as the name implies, as the second set of tournament cards released. So you had to participate in a tournament back in 2002 to get any of these cards. And in fact, there are two cards in the set that don't even have a market price because they are so rare, they are so valuable. Um, so we see the price on Skull Guardian. This is the most expensive card that actually does have a price. Now, I did do these prices a little bit ago, um, and so a few of them have been adjusted a bit. For example, Warrior of Tradition here um, has actually, I believe, gone up in value. Um, now, I am judging it based on market price. We'll see lowest price for Skull, for Skull Guardian here is $70. But again, that's a damaged copy. So um, the market price on it is a lot higher at $250. Um, whereas Warrior of Tradition right here, this one, market price 125 you can get, I believe, yeah, a moderately played copy for $55. Um, but yeah, that's probably going to be closer. If you want at least a mint condition one, we can scroll down here, going to be paying more than $100. Um, so that is how those tiers are working here. Um, taking a look at the pack, though, we if you go ahead and... The thing on TCG Player, which this will be linked below if you're unfamiliar with TCG Player, the thing about the website is you can list by market value, which is fantastic, but as we can see here, uh, the difference in market value and what prices normally are is a little bit different here. Uh, so occasionally something might be listed higher or lower than market price. Um, if we go all the way down here, we'll see there are, in fact, four cards now. Um, this has changed since I made this list. Four cards that have no market price available. One of them here is Dragon Seeker, which we do have up here in the correct spot. Dragon Seeker right now, the cheapest one heavily played, is on sale for $120. And this is from a, uh, I don't mean to put somebody on blast here, but 965 sales and they have zero positive ratings. Zero positive ratings? Oh, they have zero lately. Okay, so they haven't sold anything in a while. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, so you can get Dragon Seeker. These cards are, are attainable, but uh, going to be pretty high, and they don't sell that often, which is why there is no market price available. Okay, cool. We went back to the first page. Uh, the biggest one from this is going to be Morphing Jar. We see that uh, Exile of the Wicked and uh, Call of the Grave, which are on my tier list right here and right here. This spell and trap card, respectively, are... Uh, actually no market price available now. When I made this tier list um, a bit ago, they did. So I'd say they are a little worth a little less, $99 here, $55 here, as you can see. Uh, Morphing Jar, though. Morphing Jar here on sale for $1,500. So if you have a Morphing Jar, uh, which is right here, going to be definitely worth some money. And then there are, on the opposite end of the spectrum, definitely some cards on here that are not worth that much. Because they are reprints or or whatnot, like you can get two-headed King Rex, which is actually one of my favorite vanilla cards. Uh, it's on sale right here. You can get it for a couple dollars, uh, right? So that's going to be more down here in the less than five dollars section. So yeah, that is Tournament Pack Two, guys. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! What It's Worth series. We're going to go through all of the sets at least until we uh, uh, run out of time and, and energy to do it. But this is Tournament Pack 2. These are what the cards are rated. Let me know in the comment section if there's anything you'd like me to do. If you're a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, if you're getting back into it, I'm definitely getting back into it the last couple months. And despite these videos not being the most successful on my channel, if we're being honest thus far, I'm having a lot of fun making them. So go ahead and ranking these cards by their market value. We'll be back with a more uh, regular set, uh, Pharaoh's, Gar Pharaoh's Servant or Pharaonic Guardian. I think it's Pharaoh's Servant next. Uh, we'll be back with that one in our next video. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.